clean. And my wife, she, she messed around and called me a, a freelancer the other day. I said, oh, okay, you got jokes, huh? But anyway, at Team Keep It Clean, I really appreciate y'all. I, I thank you all. Like, seriously, I do, man, because so many of y'all reached out and showed a lot of support. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for everything that y'all have done and are doing um, and just showing a lot of love and support, man. So I appreciate y'all. Now, um, Jeremy Fowler. Jeremy Fowler, who has been doing a lot of covering this whole Lamar Jackson thing uh, from beginning to, I can't even call it the end because we we getting ready to get to the next step in a couple of days. But anyway, um, Jeremy Fowler, he reported that the Ravens have strongly considered using the non-exclusive franchise tag. Now, before we get into this video, before we get into this topic, again, like I said, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know anything that's going on. I know Josina Anderson a couple days ago, she, and she's been, she's been on point, but she reported that the Ravens, they put their strongest offer on the table for Lamar Jackson. So, all right, boom, there we go. And then she also broke down how while Lamar and his camp, no, they, they're not necessarily asking for a fully guaranteed deal, but he wants more guarantees than Deshaun Watson. So that would be anything over 230 mil guaranteed. Cause you could do a you could do a three hundred million dollar contract, two hundred thirty mil guaranteed. You could <laughs> you could do a a two hundred thirty two million dollar contract with two hundred thirty guaranteed. I mean two hundred thirty one guaranteed. It'd just be one mil that would be given. But anyway, she broke that down. Uh, so shout out to Josina Anderson. But back to to Jeremy Fowler and really just everything. Like like I said before, we don't know. We won't know till we know. That's why any report that we see, we ain't tripping about it. We ain't tripping over that. For what? For what? We ain't tripping over that at all. So let, let, let's, let's just read this one uh, from Jeremy Fowler that was on ESPN+. Plus. He said, non-exclusive tag for Lamar Jackson? Uh, several people around the league believe the Baltimore Ravens have strongly considered using the non-exclusive franchise tag on quarterback Lamar Jackson, which would deepen the intrigue on his future in a major way. Uh, while the Ravens haven't officially made a decision leading up to the deadline, several league executives now believe the non-exclusive tag, which allows the team to offer Jackson a contract that Baltimore can either match or decline in exchange for two first-round picks makes the most sense for Baltimore. Now, mm, if you use the non-exclusive tag on Lamar Jackson... Um, I think you, I mean, that's just you officially sending him on his way, in my opinion. Now, I know that if they did use a non-exclusive tag, the Ravens would have the opportunity to match. They can match whatever deal. And let's talk about how this could benefit both sides. For the Ravens side, for example, um, if somebody signs him to an office sheet, uh, then the Ravens have some options. Uh, they can decline to match whatever the offer is. And they could be like, all right, Lamar, thanks, but no thanks. We'll take the two first-round picks. Appreciate it. And he would go to whatever team that is. Uh, this could also potentially help the Ravens. And they could be like, look, see, this is what the market is saying uh, that you're worth. Look at our offer. Look at that. And boom, there you go. And, and it, would, it would depend on how their offer matched up with the offer that he got from the other team. But, again, the, that would sort of show the market for his services. Now, um, you give up two first-round picks for Lamar Jackson? Oh, <laughs> quarterback needy team, yeah, they would. Even some teams that got a quarterback, depending on which team it is, they, they could possibly do this, but I, I know they won't. But, anyway, um, that's not a bad deal. Obviously, you will need to sign him to a long-term extension as well, but it's really not a bad deal. Um, so this would allow Lamar uh, to go to a team that would pay him. And if he agreed to whatever terms that they came up with and the Ravens didn't match it, then he would go there. He would go there. Now, of course, in order to go there, he would have to sign the tag. But this would allow him to be like the end of our videos and be out. So um, it's, it's benefits to both sides for it now at the same time um if you're the ravens if you're eric da costa and say for instance that they want to trade him and, and i mean this article like saying the ravens strongly considered using or well, they strongly are considering using a non-exclusive tag well of course they got to strongly consider all the options so that's a no-brainer right there but if if you're eric da costa and you are really want you you want to trade lamar jackson I don't think the non-exclusive tag will be the wisest move because you only get two first-round picks, and that's it. No more, no less. That's it. 
You can't, they can't throw some extra bonus picks in there. What? No. It's two first round picks. That's it. If you're Edgar Costa and you want to trade, you intend on trading Lamar Jackson, I don't think it would be smart. But if you intend on trading Lamar Jackson, then why would you just do it for two first round picks? That would be insane. That would almost be a fireball offense for just two first round picks. Like, that would be crazy. Because you, you know you can, if, if you're intending on trading them, you know you can get so much more than that. that like, to me, that, I think that would be bad business. It would be bad business if they did that. But it got its pros and cons, I guess, like we, we went over. But we'll see what happens. Let's continue reading the article. It says, um, oh, I lost it. Oh, there we go. Uh, it says, Baltimore has had a challenging time negotiating with Jackson, so this allows him to shop his own services and bring an offer to the Ravens, uh, taking out the guesswork and the haggling over guaranteed money. The tag should also fall somewhere around the $32 million, far less than the projected $45 million for the exclusive franchise tag, and transferring the work to Jackson and other teams helps Baltimore maintain neutrality in any potential breakup. Okay, well, I guess there goes another plus that we, we didn't even think about. Uh, we did talk about how, yeah, it, it would allow another team to do the work as far as a contract. So that, that would be a plus for the Ravens. Um, but that last part. Oh, and then it being about 32 mil versus 45 mil. Yes, that's another plus. But to me, the negatives outweigh the positives, in my opinion, on this. Uh, but that last part. And transferring the work to Lamar Jackson and other teams helps Baltimore maintain neutrality in any potential breakup. So it would be great PR for the Baltimore Ravens, even though a lot of fans would see through it. But it would be great PR for them. Like, hey, look, we signed up to the non-exclusive tag, and, hey, we, we couldn't match it. We didn't match it. We tried, but the other team's offer was just so much better for Lamar, and he just wanted to – they could be like, it wasn't us, and they could try to pull it all on him and put it all on the other team. And be like, hey, we tried. Because they did try. They've apparently been offering them contracts and whatnot. But, yeah, that would make the breakup a little bit smoother nationally. But for fans, especially Ravens fans, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't. But, anyway, um, we're going to see. And it also said the flip side is the lower tag could damage goodwill with Jackson at a sensitive time. And the Ravens can't control any potential trade for a bigger price than two first rounders. A major decision looms for general manager Eric DeCosta. So, yeah, that's what we went over as far as the, um, them getting more than two first round picks. They can't get that with the non-exclusive. Um, and, yeah, it, it just damaging, doing damage mm, to their relationship. Um, it could because it could be like, man, that's like. That's how you view me? Non exclusive 32 million? Like, really? Me, you, okay. Okay. And that could really entice him to want to, to, to wanna be out, in my opinion. Again, I don't know what's going on in Lamar's head. None of us do. But, again, these are, these are just thoughts, man. Um, and we, we will actually get answers this week to whatever the next step is when it comes to the Ravens and Lamar Jackson and what the next move is going to be. So all these reports that we done heard, all these rumors that done surface, all these stories that keep popping up, we getting the truth in the next couple of days. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Again, I appreciate y'all a lot, and we out.